At the Dell Hospital and Toy Soldier Shop in Berkeley, the options are seemingly endless. So we asked Dr. Stephanie Hines, a developmental and behavioral pediatrician at Beaumont Children's Hospital, to shop the shelves with education in mind. For babies aged 6 to 12 months, she loves stacking toys. They're exploring with their hands, they're figuring out how things fit together. For 18 to 24 months, building toys with more shapes, more pieces, and more options. There's a little bit more color to them, and there's more to kind of do here too in terms of taking apart and manipulating and putting back together. For toddlers and preschoolers, Heinz says a train table is right on track for practicing eye-hand coordination and playing with others but resist the urge to glue down the tracks. Part of the play here is the creativity. It's the taking apart, it's the putting back together again. For early elementary kids, it's all about building from magnet tiles to marble runs. It can be taken apart, it can be put back together again. Heinz loves Lincoln Logs, but to increase the problem solving potential, she suggests Kiva planks. These are just uh, solid wooden planks. There's no grooves inset into them, so it takes a little bit more in terms of being creative. She's also a big fan of Kaleido gears. How do I get these things to fit together? If I make this move, can I ultimately make that one move? For late elementary to middle school, Lego building sets offer big benefits. But you have to follow visual instructions. It's not written instructions, but visual instructions. And that's a different side, side of a, sort of a skill to, to have. For teens, there are more sophisticated sets that teach patience and problem solving. You can't learn that from flashcards. Heinz is also a fan of games. For younger kids, the classic Candyland. What kids are learning there is how to take turns, how to play in a group, and also they're learning how to be a good sport. For a little older kids, Heinz suggests a pattern game called Set. We spent the whole Christmas evening playing this game. Another favorite to build memory. This is an oldie but a goodie. I still like Simon. Finally, don't overlook the value of pretend play. From dolls to dress up clothes, doctor kits to cash registers, it all helps fan the flames of imagination. Again, it doesn't look at all educational. Children are learning imitation.